What up, Cisco? Thank you so much, Bruno. Cisco, le centro, le baramo. Tangana nyes, c'est wati pour Afrique, le barala quoi? Il est wati te pika mini kete kozeri na frangin keisha bon. A gimini kete hein? Mouvement vocal, verbal. Ali soroti andu à l'époque. Whatever you said. Is this the peak of the African rhythm in the world or are we still at the beginning of our conquest? African rhythm to the world or are we still... Oh, I think, I think we're still at... We, I mean, really, we've always been, man. It's just that yeah. if you really think about sounds, like the other day I was listening to some Marilyn Manson <laughs> hmm. uh, of all sounds. And yo, some of the drums... Like it's seriously African drums, bro. It is. Yeah, that's true. But listen, it's like, dude, it's, you uh, just add like a little bit of syncopation to it, and it's gonna work. I mean, yeah. You know, so I think African rhythm music. African been. rhythm has always been here. It's just a question of, uh, of, um, of at 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 a point. American music, Western music was just the center of the world because they own all the media. They won, since they won the war, they also won the war on, on the propaganda. So it felt like our music was world music. And um, I believe that with, with time uh, and with this new generation, and especially, maybe it's not a question of generation, but it's a question of the internet. With the internet, it's easier today for people to stick to what is the mirror to what they like or what they are. Back in the days, if you were uh, uh, a black girl with a big booty and, and big breast and, and, uh, and braided hair or afro, you would turn on TV, there would be nobody that looks like you. You would look at Vogue magazine, at, at all these <laughs> fashion well, magazines. You, you see Kendall Jenner and all these girls looking for, trying to look like you. <laughs> yeah, well, at least. But, you know what? In a way, they helped democratize a certain type of body. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah. If I mean, just... even if it's the abused version, they, they kind of help democratize, democratize it. But... Um, Today with Instagram, today with all these, and, and you with YouTube, with the fact that uh, you create what you want to listen, like you, you create your playlist, and the algorithm will serve you the type of things that you want to see. And I believe that uh, this is why all of a sudden African music is at the, the, the center of a lot of things, and Latin music too, because, yeah, we used to appear when they let us appear because they control the media. Now they don't anymore. Like uh, a show like Quarantine Groove uh, was impossible 10 years ago because of the cost of the internet, because of the, the fact that it was uh, no, no TV would have hired somebody to play every day at hours when they prefer playing some series or whatever. Today we can have we can start with our 10 followers and build it to a million on our own channels. And so all of a sudden, yeah, all the sound that have always been there, they're exploding now. They're exploding because a lot of the people who like it can discover it and can keep watching it. And there's a lot of content coming out of, of our music, but it was always there. It's just that today it's... Yeah, it's, it's not even that it's on the forefront. It's just like today, what you want to hear, you can watch it. So, you know, 